Hi friends, we welcome you back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting case of a mandibular molar. The patient lives in Canada. A general dentist attempted a root canal. He could locate the distal canal, but you can see the coronal calcifications that were present made it very difficult for him. He could not locate the mesial canals. The pulp chamber, if it continues into the canals, it makes our life much easier. But as you can see, we are facing the following challenges. The canals are calcified, the tooth is non-vital, so there are chances of flare-up, and the mesial root is curved. So there are always chances of ledge formation. So in such cases, we approach the case very carefully. So guys, I am Dr. Puneet. I am a practicing microendontist. I practice in sector 15, Chandigarh. These are the few glimpses of the place where I practice. So coming back to the case. So now this is after we remove the temporary restoration. As you can see, this white colored material which is present between the mesial canals is the calcification, the deposits, which makes us very hard to enter into the canal. So what we use, we use the ET40 tips by Satellac at a low power setting and and fine tips by Ultra X to refine the finer stones. So this is an image. After the truffing by ultrasonics, we could find a catch in the mesobuccal canal. And one thing I would like to discuss here is that whenever the calcification is there, the walls of the canal are dark and the white material that is in the center is the place where we need to trough. So after finding the mesiobuccal canal, we continued troughing on the mesiolingual canal and here is the mesiolingual canal that we could locate. This is the radiographic image after the biomechanical preparation of the master cones. This is the neat and clean chamber that you can see when we completed our biomechanical cleaning. So here we leave.